where sin abounds, grace superabounds. God is doing his will, and the devil is trying to thwart his will. And we know how the devil tried to do it with, with the death of Abel, when Cain rose up and killed one-fourth of the population of the world in a single blow. We know what happened later on with, with uh, throwing the male children into the Nile River and, and uh, Athaliah destroying the seed royal and Herod slaughtering the children. Time and time again, the, the devil tried to move in and cut off the messianic line. And if that had happened, there'd be no gospel to preach. But where sin abounds, grace superabounds. Years ago, my grandfather was quite an artist. And he had painted a beautiful scene of the open sea. An oil painting on canvas. And he had taken the painting in and he laid it up on a chair by the window to dry. Well, my dad was a little boy. And he heard a car coming down the lane into their farm. And he ran over and jumped up on the chair to look down the road to see who was coming. And he put his foot right through the canvas. Well, my grandfather took that canvas and he carefully stitched it back together again in such a way that the stitching became the rigging of an old ship. And he painted in a ship on the open sea. And it became a much more interesting picture afterwards by grace than it was originally, you see. Now, God has a wonderful way of doing that. And he can take a curse and turn it into a blessing. And this happens all the way through the Bible. Well, you read Matthew chapter 1 and you read about this woman Tamar. That was no way to go about it, was it? No? And then the story of, um, of Rahab and Ruth and Bathsheba. Why, they're very embarrassing stories to tell, aren't they? I mean, this is really grisly stuff. And yet somehow God overruled and actually used them to accomplish his purposes, didn't he? He takes up the, the ruined things of life and somehow turns a curse into a blessing. He takes the cross the worst thing that ever happened when men murdered their own God and he turns it into the best thing that ever happened that's the story of grace isn't it? the story of the gospel that God can take lives that are ruined and if we hand them over to him he doesn't simply discard the things that have, that have spoiled us he takes our failures and turns them into ministries takes our liabilities and turns them into assets. Where sin abounds, grace superabounds.